Well, for a while, I haven't been posting a lot of videos. I've been using the machine a lot. I've been able to print a, a whole bunch of things basically over the last year. Really haven't had any problems with it. And um, it's getting just, it's becoming just part of my set of tools now. Like, I don't really, I, I don't really think about it as a special thing anymore, so I'm not really posting a lot anymore. And uh, now that we're stuck in this quarantine, I've been uh, kind of looking back at some of my old videos, editing some things, and, and then I've been working on some uh, secondary projects to see what kind of things I can do to, to use the Sintratech kit uh, for different things. I've been working on using 100% old powder. I have some old powder, and I've been able to use some high percentages of old powder, and uh, I thought I could do this little project here as a test to see if whether or not I can get it to uh, continue to use 100% old powder on large patch surfaces. So uh, I was working on a, an end for my weight bench set and thought I would see if I could print a new one because the ones that I have are a bit worn and uh, you know they, sent, they tend to slop around on the threads. The threads are worn out completely and uh, at one point I almost had a a weight slide right off the shaft so um, I thought I could print one with a, a tighter thread pattern and uh, and then it's also laser sintered so it's a high strength plastic and I think this would work really well so I thought I'll give this a shot I'll use 100% old powder um, mess with the uh, temperature settings a little bit and the laser settings do a double outline and uh, see what I can do and it was actually worked out really nice I was kind of impressed uh, with the final product. I do like the cross-section of this particular part. Um, so the part I just modeled up in Contia, it's really, it's nothing that fancy, just a few pads, pockets, and revolves. Um, the thing only took me a few minutes to make. Uh, the threading, you know, I'm getting pretty good at making threading in, in Katia now. And uh, that's, you know, that's, it's pretty trivial. But I like how it, it, you know, I like how it's centered in the 3D printer. Um, it's got this kind of weird star pattern. And then I also mounted all of the shapes on an angle. So that way, um, I wouldn't have a super large patch. Like at one point there, um, in my design across the, the neutral axis of it, there's a huge patch. I don't want to have that. I put them on a 15 degree angle. I know it's something that Citratex recommends and I haven't really done that in a while. I do like certain things to have a very clean uh, face. You know, by having it at a zero degree incline, you get to have that perfect face. But if you put it on an angle, you might have some stepping there. And for what I'm making here, this is mainly built for strength and for, uh, it's not for looks, that's for sure. It's just for my weight set. The printing only took about maybe 10 hours. Um, it wasn't a full bed. Um, excavation is pretty typical. You know, um, I didn't really have a high heat on this one. I think it was 173 and a half. So the powder came off pretty easily. The only thing is I had these little nooks and crannies that I had to dig out um, with a dental pick, um, which doesn't take that long, really. But, um, you know, I was able to save all the old powder. You know, now that I'm reusing old powder over and over again, I keep every single crumb of powder. I filter it to a micron, and then I just keep using it over and over again. Um, this, this particular batch here, I think I used this powder three times in a row now. The only time I really use new powder is just to, to add to my old powder and then, you know, fill up the bin. And you can see here, I use a dental pick to get the stuff out and then I just quickly brush it with a, a brass brush just to get any remaining uh, surface powder that's on it. Also, like in, sometimes in the nooks and crannies, it's hard to get dental pick in there, but that brush will just get in there and uh, take it apart. Normally I seal all of my uh, parts as well, but since I don't really care, this isn't going to be used for any automotive or industrial use. This is just going to be, um, you know, for my own personal use. It's, um, you know, I, I don't need to seal this one. Um, and this is mainly just a test to see if I can push the limits of old powder. Coring out the inside because I want to get as much powder off the threads as possible. Uh, I actually did four of these. I didn't film the, the fourth one that I, I had taken off. Um, in the beginning. So there's three stars there, um, you know, for each end of both dumbbells. And then I also made a couple extra parts there um, for a, a shaft extension for something else. And like I said, I, I just save all my old powder. 
um, even this. It doesn't look good, but I'll collect all the old powder and then I'll shake it up, filter it. All right, so there it is, testing it out, see if it worked. It's definitely tight. Like I measured it with my micrometer down a thousandth of an inch. I only gave it a hundredth of an inch um, gap on the threads. So it it fit perfectly. I mean, it's, it's just about as tight as it can get. Oh well, there it is.